Hi, I'm attorney Ben Schwartz, and today we're shooting video number three in our series about what employers do not tell their employees when they've been injured on the job. Today I want to talk about a law, a federal law, called FMLA. And essentially, FMLA requires employers, certain employers, to hold the job of the employee until they can come back to work. And so today what I want to do is sort of walk you through the FMLA law because one of the things that employers neglect to tell their employees when they're seriously injured on a job is that sometimes the employer has to hold the job of the employee until they can come back. And so I want to I want to walk you through the FMLA law and try and it's a complicated law but I want to try and simplify it and my best idea for how to simplify it is to use the United States Department of Labor fact sheet number 28. This is available on the internet. If you go to uh, www.dol.gov slash WHD slash regs, R-E-G-S slash compliance slash WHDFS28 dot PDF. This is a PDF that you can obtain yourself, and we'll link to it in the show notes, but it's a PDF you can obtain for yourself and read for yourself directly from the United States Department of Labor website. And so what I want to do is I'd like to just focus on this for a minute, and this is Fact Sheet 28 from the Department of Labor Family and Medical Leave Act, which is, that's what FMLA stands for. And essentially what it talks about is that Eligible employees of covered employers can take unpaid job-protected leave for a specific amount of time. Unpaid uh, job-protected job leave means that under FMLA, you're not going to get paid. Of course, you should understand that if you are injured on the job and you're taking FMLA leave, we can probably get your wages covered, if not fully covered, then at least partially covered, either under workers' compensation insurance or under short-term disability insurance, depending on the facts of your specific situation. But for purposes of FMLA, FMLA does not require the employer to cover the lost wages. There are other laws that we look to to require the employer or the workers' compensation insurance company to cover lost wages. I'm just talking about FMLA and holding the job. The employer must hold the job if it's a covered employer. And a covered employer is a private sector employer, meaning a private company, not the government, with 50 or more employees uh, in 20 or more work weeks in the current or preceding calendar year. So essentially, that means that if it's an employer with 50 or more employees, then it's going to be a covered employer, or a covered employer also can be a public agency, local, state, or federal government agency. Um, also, public or private elementary or secondary school, regardless of the number of employees, is going to be covered by FMLA. And then you see in this fact sheet, there's a definition of eligible employees. An eligible employee is someone who works for a covered employer, obviously, has worked for that employer for at least 12 months. Now, if you look down here, the 12 months don't have to be consecutive, but who has at least 1,250 hours of service for that employer during that 12 month, during the 12 months immediately preceding the, uh, the leave, the period of time that you're out of work. Um, and working in the in a location where the employer has at least 50 employees. If you continue scrolling down to leave entitlement, it tells you that you can take up to 12 weeks leave in a one year period for, um, you know, for basically a serious injury, a serious health condition that makes the employee unable to perform the essential functions of the job. And so, you know, this is, this fact sheet, basically does a very nice job of summarizing FMLA, but the FMLA is a federal law that in many cases 
where the employee has been employed for 12 months, um, is working for this employer, the employer has 50 or more employees or is a public a public employer, a government, or a school, it gives you the opportunity to take up to 12 weeks off in order to heal, get better, and then return to your job. And so FMLA is great for the employee. It's something that most employers, at least in the cases that I'm handling, most employers are not coming right out and volunteering this information to the employees. Hey, you've been injured on the job. You can't return to work right now. Please know we're going to hold your job. It's not something that's getting, you know, that's getting volunteered by most employers in the cases that we're handling, but it's something that you should know as an educated person living in the United States of America. It's something that you should know. You have this right, and if you'd like more information about it, you can certainly contact me. I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. My email address is ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. You can contact us by going to schwartzandschwartz.com and uh, clicking on the contact button. There's a form there you can complete with your contact information and your question. You can go on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash schwartzandschwartz and message us there. Or you can leave a comment on one of these videos and give us your thoughts. I hope you found this video informative. We'll if you keep watching, we'll keep doing videos. This is one video in a series of videos about things that employers commonly fail or refuse to tell their employees after a serious on-the-job injury. Keep watching, and I appreciate you, uh, you know, watching our videos and giving us feedback on our videos.